Okay, in this video, I'm going to walk you through getting set up to accept payments, and I'm going to walk you through invoicing, price quotes, some of the functionality that's available on your Wix site. So the very first thing we want to do is go into our settings here, and we're going to go into accept payments, and you just need to go ahead and connect the payment methods that you want to connect. That's going to be super easy. Now you do have to have an upgraded site to accept payments. So once you do this, you go through here and connect, which is pretty easy. It's a couple clicks. Then Wix is going to prompt you to set up your payouts, which that's going to be how you're going to get paid from Wix. So you can set it up to be paid every day. It usually takes a few days to process. Um, but I love using the Wix payments. Like I said, it really integrates everything into your site with those bookings and appointments and um, online stores, all of that. So once you set up your payments, then I'm going to show you in a second here under billing and payments, I'm going to show you how to create an invoice. Your payments here, that's going to be where your payments are going to show up. Once you have payments, you can send out price quotes, which is kind of cool because if someone accepts a price quote, then it automatically turns into an invoice and they can pay it online. And then finally, I'm going to show you, um, this is another cool feature, recurring invoices. But before we get to that, we're going to go ahead and go into your settings here and go into invoices and quotes. And this is going to allow you to, first of all, just set up your basic invoice information. So you, here you can see what the invoice is going to look like but maybe you want to come through here and change some of the details so you can add your logo. This is kind of cool. You can edit the invoicing number. So if you are just starting out and you don't want someone to know that this is the first invoice you're sending out, you can come through here and change this to whatever number you'd like. And then on these header fields here, you can add um, some fields if you feel like you need to do that for any reason. Your business info, this is going to automatically show up once you edit that business info, which I showed you in the last video. And then um, tax, if you are sending out invoices that have tax that are maybe not a service, then that will show the tax breakdown. And then finally here, you're going to be able to edit this for each individual invoice, but maybe there are specific notes or terms that's going to be on every single invoice then you can edit those here. So go ahead and save. And then same thing with price quotes. You can come in here and change that quote number. Um, here's where you can convert those quotes to invoices. So that's going to allow them, once they accept the terms, that they can pay that invoice immediately. And then, of course, you can, again, put your default notes and terms on here. So once you've got that all set up, then I'm going to go ahead and show you how to create an invoice. It's pretty easy. I'm going to go ahead and get started. And then again, you can add your info here. Well, I think you have to have an email. Let's see. <clears throat> and you can see here, it's a pretty simple, basic invoice. You're going to just choose your contact. If they're not in your system already, then you can add them. Let's go ahead and just do a demo here, and then we can give this invoice a title. Um, you can add an, an item. So for instance, we've got our services, we've got our products in here, but if something's not listed, then you can just add new and add that item, or you can just go ahead and type it in here. So we'll say custom invoice item. And you can write your description, your price, add any discounts in here. This is new. You can actually request a deposit. So if you're charging 500, but maybe you just need 250 to start, you can add that. Of course, your notes and your terms. And then you can go ahead and click on send invoice. It's not going to do it because I'm sending it to this demo, but you just send it out. You can obviously, <clears throat> excuse me, change the message on here. And then here's some other ways that you can Go ahead and charge this with a credit card. Once you do send that invoice, you're also going to have the option on here to resend your invoice. So that's pretty easy how to create an invoice. So let's go ahead and go to our recurring invoices. So I'm going to go ahead and leave without saving, but obviously you can save that invoice. So this is going to be basically the same. I use this a lot for my custom websites. I do allow people to break up the charge. So that's basically what this invoice is going to do. So let's say, um, 
I want them to be charged monthly, but let's say we're going to do a custom. Let's say I want to do five. And I don't know why it's not letting me go to next. Oh, okay. I don't think you can do this yet, actually, because there's no payment set up. But basically, it's going to just take you to what will look like a regular invoice. However, what's going to happen is your client is going to pay that first cost right away. So let's say that $500 invoice. When they click on pay, it's going to charge them $500 then. And then automatically every month or every week or biweekly or yearly, whatever you set it up as and however many times, it's going to automatically charge them that amount at that specific interval. So Again, those are kind of some cool functions that Wix has here. I'm going to go into this later, but you can also set up some automations with some, um, and I think that was back here. Let me show you really quick. So again, once you upgrade your, upgrade your site and um, are able to collect payments, then you can go through and kind of play with this. I don't know why it's not letting me go through here. There we go. Okay. So let me go back to settings here and invoice quotes. And you can see here there's some automation. So you can also set up some automations, send reminders, um, send a reminder before an invoice a uh, week before their invoice is due. So you can set up automations. But again, that's something I'm going to show you in another video. I just wanted to give you a quick overview again of how to get in there and start setting up your payments and your invoicing and quotes.